All right, Stephen, we forgot to mention that it's one other very important day. It's ML Perf Benchmark Results Day. That's right. Put on your party hats because ML Perf Inference 3.1 has a new front runner. NVIDIA unleashed the Grace Hopper GH200 on the benchmark and just let it run wild. On average, GH200 was about 9% faster than the competition. And the combination of running a CPU and a GPU on the same die really seems to be paying off for NVIDIA. There were also some very interesting results from Intel and from storage as well. Steven, you've been someone who's very hooked into what MLPerf is doing, and you love seeing these results. So give us your take on it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, first off, I'm not going to be able to do this justice. There's going to be a lot of coverage of MLPerf uh, every time it comes out. Um, ML Commons does such a great job here. They've brought together the industry in a wonderful way, and um, it is very impressive what's happening out there. So let's start with inferencing and NVIDIA, like you mentioned. Uh, so again, this is not the training tasks. This is inferencing. This is actually using hardware to do ML tasks. And at that, guess what? Uh, king of the Hill, Grace Hopper is still King of the Hill. Uh, and, and in fact, Grace Hopper actually outperforms Hopper um, uh, in, in that environment. So it shows that uh, NVIDIA's super chip approach that combines the NVIDIA Hopper GPU and the Grace CPU on the same module uh, actually delivers results to the tune of uh, about 17% uh, better uh, than just using the same GPU alone. So that's cool, uh, absolutely very cool. Um, you know, NVIDIA's, uh, as I said, uh, their stuff is still really, really strong. But as you mentioned, there's a lot more here than uh, to, to go along with. Uh, one of the uh, challengers that we've been looking at, of course, is Intel. Um, their Gaudi 2, which they, they got with the Habana acquisition, uh, actually is a pretty solid alternative, depending on what you're trying to do, because not everybody needs the absolute biggest, baddest, fastest, most expensive, most hard to get um, equipment. So if you really just want to be able to offer reasonable inferencing performance, Gaudi 2 actually does a pretty good job. Um, it's about the same as H100, um, and it's probably more available uh, than H100 as well. So basically, you want to you wanna deploy some inferencing tasks? Well, there you go. There's an option. Um, another thing that we're seeing is um, Intel's positioning of the Xeon processors for inferencing tasks actually seems to hold some water. Now, there again, don't, don't make a mistake. The Xeon is not competitive with a GPU in ML training or building an ML supercomputer. But again, a lot of this stuff, especially when it comes to inferencing, is just you know using things. And you've got to ask yourself a question. If I've got a Xeon CPU, do I want to pair it with a GPU uh, accelerator or not? Now, that's a big choice, and it really changes the bill of materials. It really changes the total costs. The good news is that you can do GPT tasks. That's what they showed here on a Xeon processor, and it'll summarize some paragraphs in a couple of seconds for you. It works, it works fine. And actually, you know what? That's not a bad option. Now, another thing I do wanna mention is that for the first time, uh, ML Commons is showing storage performance. That's right. We've got a storage benchmark. Uh, we had DDN, Micron, Nutanix, uh, and Weka submit uh, storage uh, to this benchmark. Um, and they performed kind of all over the place. Um, I, I really need a lot more time to analyze this to decide what it really means. But I will say one thing that it means is uh, kudos to ML Commons and kudos to those companies for participating, for showing the performance of their system, and for basically starting to move forward with a storage benchmark for machine learning tasks, because that's gonna be critical a uh, critical part of the infrastructure going forward. And if we don't have a, a benchmark, then we can't really know the value of what we're buying, which again, goes to the value proposition of ML Commons and ML Perf generally. So um, good on you. Thank you to those companies for participating. Thank you to ML Commons for developing this. And also, um, I guess the big takeaway here is when it comes to inferencing, you've got a lot of choices. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the biggest, baddest hardware. You got to match what you're doing to, uh, you know, what you're using to what you're doing, and that may end up being a CPU instead of a GPU, even. 